morning folks made it to the Azores a little complex of islands in the Atlantic Ocean part of Portugal it has been in a bucket list for almost two years now to visit the Azores I heard such good things about this place exotic trees exotic flowers uh, lots of cows to my surprise the people here are very friendly, uh, smiling and uh, in a very chill state of mind which is uh, kind of uh, very transmissive and uh, putting me in a really good mood. Right now, as you can see, I'm actually driving. Are you surprised? You're like, Steph, did you get your driver's license? I'm like, still unfinished business. It is working out pretty well now. You know, haven't crushed the car, don't tell anyone. Super thrilled to be here. We're uh, right now heading to one part of the island which is apparently really cool to, uh, for many reasons. It has uh, a cliff jumping spot, there's some good restaurants there. Kids, don't drive when you vlog, please. Thank you. Another thing I want to say is that, you know, in life you gotta be a rebel. You gotta, you don't always have to follow the rules that you're given. Rebellious attitude is much needed sometimes. Do what you're said and play it safe and all of this stuff. It won't lead you anywhere far. So, you know, there's got to be some kind of a rebellious attitude from time to time. What I mean is that, you know, rules are there to establish certain things and uh, follow them. Follow them, but you can also create your own rules. And uh, as long as you're not breaking any rules and that doesn't keep you from achieving things, uh, just go for it. for any challenge that this trip would entail. Best life adventures are usually the ones that come unplanned. My purpose in life is to fuel up my passions and regenerate my aspirations through travel. It is the reason to keep going in life. So we just came to this restaurant, they are serving this typical Portuguese uh, dish which I haven't tried and uh, really excited to give it a, a try for the first time. Can you put me some please? Cozida Portuguesa. Yeah, I have my <laughs> tour guide here who is uh, giving me the best of the best experience. Delicious. So, so good. Look at my plate. We're having a real experience here. I can tell you. Because it's cooked under the floor in this very hot... How do you call this again? It's called furnace. Like, it's like Tolkien. In Greek it's called furnos. It's the oven where you bake the food. It's a similar word. So they're cooking in this natural hot steam coming out of the ground which makes the food taste so great and so unique, like different. Oh my god, that was a lot of food. That was hell of a lot of food. I don't need to eat for the next week. <laughs> what do you think of the food then? I'm full. I'm blowing. <laughs> I'm blowing. Uh, don't blow up, we need you. So there you have them. Coming straight from the ground. It's this natural gas coming right under the ground that just like makes it smell so just gross. It would make for a great hot tea. The only problem is that the tea would taste disgusting. <sighs> and that is how a responsible man takes care of his red camera. Fun fact. Azores has more cows than inhabitants and I think it is true. Made it to the viewpoint right behind me. You can see the island. It has uh, it, the famous Red Bull uh, cliff jumping competition, which takes uh, place every single year. 
and uh, it also has a natural pool right inside the island and many caves uh, that you can explore. We won't be going there today, but enjoying it from a distance and uh, it's one of the nicest places here in this island. getting started with day two here at the Azores. Uh, next uh, stop, uh, the tea fields. And after that, Villa Franca, getting a good view of the island. It's 5.30 in the morning, barely slept. Up early to get the job done and uh, discover this island's uh, beauties. Just made it to the oldest uh, tea plantation in Europe. This island is known to harvest one of the finest teas in the region. I grew up drinking tea when I was young. Grew up drinking it my entire life. Tea fascinates me. It's a good herb. Coffee lovers, they just talk about coffee 24-7. It just drives me absolutely mad. Like, is there something else in your life? It kind of feels like a hobby. Tea kind of keeps it so zen. Like, you never really see people obsessing over tea and talking about it at such extent. Like I respect coffee lovers, but people that I really talk about it non-stop, it just drives me mad. Unattractive, <laughs> so unattractive. The Goriana Tea Estate, located in Maya, has been Europe's favorite ever since the art of tea cultivation was introduced. together to make this tea come to life. It smells delightful. I've always been a huge fan of tea and love drinking it, but I never really knew what went behind it. So now I'm finally able to see it. I think tea is underappreciated and I'm here to give it my own opinion. It's a lifestyle. big batches, that's what makes the tea. We're about to go inside the grinder where all of the tea is being grinded. Day up by visiting a local farm and the biggest milk and cheese produce in the area. That is me milking a cow. They did offer me a full-time job earlier and I kindly declined. I mean, I had to. ATP pays way better. Besides, there is no Wi-Fi here, so I don't know how I would make it through. So that's how I spend my Wednesday afternoon. Milking a freaking cow. Cheers to you and to everyone's health. Fresh milk, straight out of the cow. To all the kids out there that don't know where their food comes from, this is probably the best milk I'll ever get. I feel grateful that I've had the opportunity to come here and taste what real milk is like. I'll send it to my friends. Our beautiful cow, Mimosa. This is the best milk I've ever had in my life. 23 years of living. And this is probably the purest so fresh. Doesn't get any more fresh than that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep eating your grass. 
This has been an unbelievable experience. Highlights of the year. No milk brand can outbeat the quality of this milk I just had. First of all, I have like stomach issues when I drink milk, uh, especially after like a breakfast, after consuming milk, I just feel my stomach bloated. It's been half an hour now and I feel absolutely okay. And that is to say that you just see what organic stuff does to your body. Nature doing its job. That is what it's all about.